Adam Levine is officially a married man. The Maroon 5 frontman tied the knot this past weekend. I'll never be the same. I really want to love somebody. The notorious ladies' man wed his Victoria's Secret model girlfriend, Beati Prinsloo, at the Flora Farms in Los Cabos, Mexico. Word is funny man Jonah Hill officiated and the bride wore a custom-made Marquesa gown. Canadian model Coco Rocha served as a bridesmaid along with a number of Victoria's Secret models. Levine and Prinsloo got engaged last summer after dating for a year. Is Beyonce involved in Fifty Shades of Grey? The singer posted the very first teaser for the highly anticipated film on her Instagram. Check it out. The sneak peek features a sultry, slow down remix of her single Crazy in Love. So is Queen Bee on the soundtrack, or could she be making a cameo? Either way, we'll be looking forward to the full trailer's release coming up Thursday. Another big reveal, but this one is of the royal variety. A new official photo of Prince George has just been released ahead of his first birthday. The tiny heir to the throne is taking a walk in the image taken at the butterfly exhibit at London's Natural History Museum. George turns one tomorrow. More images of him will be released today. Tune in to Entertainment City tomorrow as Hello Canada's editor-in-chief Alison Eastwood weighs in on royal celebrations. Prince George is just too cute. On Friday, we told you about a video circulating showing Tim McGraw appearing to slap a fan during a concert. Now the country crooner tells us his side of the story. In this video obtained by TMZ, McGraw appears to hit a fan across the face after she appears to grope him. I'm not going to say what anybody else's perspective was, but from my perspective, I, I, I reacted instinctively and defensively as anybody would. And uh, it's an unfortunate incident. I certainly wish the incident would have never happened, but it did. Unfortunate incidents aside, McGraw has plenty to sing about these days. His 13th studio album, Sundown Heaventown, is due out in September, and it includes a duet with his wife, Faith Hill. I know I'm biased, but I'm also an artist, and I think that she's fantastic. And anytime I can sing with her, I, I jump at the chance. Resurrection. Resurrection. Okay, and that's better. Why? Why is that better? It's from the Old Testament. Why is all my stuff in boxes now? Hey. Cities, Parks and Recreation star Aubrey Plaza is trading in municipal politics for a stint as a zombie in Life After Beth. You ate a guy. Oh, what do you want from me, Zach? I'm a zombie. I purposefully didn't watch any zombie movies because I didn't want to recreate anything that other people have done. I try to be spontaneous about it and just kind of like. Just let myself go and like see what would come out. Where are you going? Maybe we can go for a hike or something. I gotta go. Besides playing a girlfriend who's come back from the dead, the actress is also preparing to say goodbye to Parks and Rec as the show heads into its seventh and final season. I'm so sad. That show is such a huge part of my life. The cast is like my family, and we're, we're all just in total denial. Um, especially Amy and I, we're just we just pretend like it's not happening. April, stop it. Leslie, you'll never land a bow with that domineering tone. Celebrated film and television actor James Garner has died at the age of 86, leaving behind a long and storied career. Very talented man. Garner died of natural causes Saturday evening at his home in Brentwood, California. The actor rose to fame in the late 50s by starring in Maverick. He's perhaps best known for his role in the detective series The Rockford Files, winning an Emmy Award in 1977. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. More recently, Garner played the heartbreaking role of Duke, the older version of Ryan Gosling's character in The Notebook. I'll be seeing you. Garner leaves behind a wife and two daughters. Which James Garner character is your favorite? All you have to do is tweet us at NCity.